Hey brothers and sisters, Kim Samples out here in my kitchen that I've been remodeling. I finally got the tray ceiling done. I've put together some videos on how I uh, did the tray ceiling. I'm excited to share these with you. I'd like for you to subscribe so you can kind of keep up with all the videos. I think there's going to be about four or five on the tray ceiling, on the design, how I completed it and all that. You, if you don't want to subscribe to the or watch the videos of handyman stuff, that's okay, but I'd really uh, like you to subscribe and enjoy these uh, details on the tray ceiling that I'm getting ready to do. So anyway, uh, let's get started on uh, part one. Hi everybody, it's 4th of July and I'm working on a new tray ceiling for our kitchen. I've been doing a remodel on our kitchen here and we're getting ready to put in a tray ceiling. I've done several tray ceilings in the house already and I've always done them up into the ceiling. So this one I'm kind of trying to make down and build it down on the ground and then we're going to lift it up and put it right up into place. So I've already made a box up here. Let me show you the box. This box is uh, going to be a nine foot by six foot box that we're going to raise the tray ceiling right up into it, put it up to I've already got beams up there above to hold the uh, to hold the ceiling. Everything's already set. I'm going go into more detail on that a little bit later. But right now I'm going to start with the actual box of the, the tray ceiling that we're going to put together right here. So I've cut some two baits. I've got two two baits, uh, nine foot and three inches. Uh, and then I've got Two, two baits, uh, six foot and three inches. So I'm going to put all these together and then we're going to uh, put some plywood decking on it to build the first part of our tray ceiling. Right now I'm going to screw this together with some uh, deck screws that I, I seem to like these a lot. These are uh, number 10 by three and a half deck screws. Got a little bow in it, so I'm going to probably uh, I'm going to put it with the bow out because I'll, I'll be able to pull the bow back in. built now. This is our first tray. We want to check with our tape measure. We've got our box built. In this box we're going to raise it up and put it in there after it's complete. Do it step by step. Should take uh, less than I'm going to say uh, eight hours to complete this project and then raise it up. I'm going to measure it, check to make sure it's square. Because we got to make sure it's going to fit. Okay, so now what we want to do is this particular board right here, this 2 bay, is bowed out a little bit, and this one's over here is bowed out a little bit. So we're going to set a piece of plywood on here because we're going to uh, put a plywood deck on here. That's part of the first part of the tray. And from that plywood, we'll, uh, we're going to screw it in here good. And then we'll straighten this, uh, these two boards to get them straight. Okay, we're finishing up on our box for the first part of our tray ceiling. We put some uh, plywood down. We've squared everything to make sure it's square. We measured it diagonal. Uh, and we checked, double checked it to make sure it fits up there. Uh, we had a little trouble with this one two by eight because it was a little bit warped. So we had to uh, put the plywood on this two sides, tie all the corners in, and then pull this two by eight in to get the warp out. So advice uh, when you go to the lumber yard, make sure you Make perfectly straight pieces and don't get any warp on it. 
I bought this a week ago and it wasn't work, but it sat here in the in the kitchen, even though it was standing up, it still warped a little bit. So double check that, and so if you can use them right when you get them, that way you won't have that warp in there. Took a little bit of uh, fiddling around to pull it in. So anyway, now we're gonna finish up uh, screwing all this around, all the way around, every uh, six to eight inches. Uh, these are one and screws and this is uh, 20, uh, 27, 30, 22 32 plywood so it's the it's not the most expensive because we're just going to cover it up with sheetrock but this is our main pattern so we're going to lay it out and we're going to mark it all out and the way we're going to lay this one out I'll show you here shortly and then you can lay yours out any way you want to or a little bit different there's a lot of different ways you can do it. But, uh, anyway, let me finish up on that and we'll get back with you here in just a second. We've done a couple of rough drawings here. This is the one we're going to try to recreate, kind of this one, but this was one I did. These are all rough, so you can kind of take a look. Here's our we're working on this. Here's the two bay right here. Here's our plywood that we just put on. And this is going to be our next step, next step, next step. So, And we're building this right now. We're building it like it's uh, going to face. But we're going to flip it over in a little bit. And then we'll work on it uh, upside down so that we can put all our uh, trim in here, our decorative pieces, our, all our trim here, and our diamond in, and then we can paint it all upside down, then we'll flip it back up and raise it up. So it kind of gives you an idea. So this, this diamond is one we got from uh, Architecture Depot. We're going to put it right here in the center. That's going to be, of course, that's going to be upside down in the actual actual uh, tray when it goes up there. This will actually be setting about like about right here. If you can imagine this whole thing raising up. So this will be about like that. So we're just doing this to test to see if 12 inches gives us plenty of room around the edges to do our design. Looks like it does. So now we're going to put in our uh, the rest of the design on this side. And we're going to pop it on this side. Uh, we're working on uh, figuring this circle right here. So we've done halfway into the into this. We've measured this way and this way, and this is the center. So now we're going to come out here uh, a certain distance, and we're going to make our first circle. So we're going to come out here, and we're going to look at it. We're going to kind of guesstimate it and see if this is too big a circle. Or, so we want to make maybe a 10-inch circle because we're going to go 10, and so it's going to be 20, because we want our circle to come around here, and then we want to come back over this way with a straight piece, and then we want to come back uh, with a piece over this way. So maybe, maybe we want to be a little bit more, so we've got, so let's, we want to proportion this out. So maybe we want to do uh, 12 inches, so let's try 12 inches. This is just a quick mark, just we're going to check it out. Okay, so 12 inches, 12 inches. So if we go from here, and we're going to come 12 inches. And then it's, going to, then it's going to come straight across. And then we're going to come back with another curve this way. Let's double check it, see if it's still in the center. Close. Now we'll take this, come over here, and flip. Okay, that's our 
circle. I'm going to put uh, six inches there, six inches here, because I'm going to recreate this over here. Okay, so now I can take this same string that I had earlier, and I should be able to kind of come up with something pretty close to the, to the same as I had over here. So I'm going to do, just I'm going to kind of, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it right now and see. Oh yeah, see, look at that. So that's the look. How's it look? Very good. Okay, good. Very good. The boss has just spoke. Make sure we get it like the boss wants. Okay, so now uh, we're going to take a, a jigsaw and we're going to cut this out right here. And then we're going to mark it the same over here. We'll just take this piece and set it over here. That would be even easier than uh, doing that. Or we could do it there. Probably be better to do it that way. The uh, first piece cut out, we used the jigsaw to cut out. They're talking now. We're going to reinforce all the edges because we're going to be putting some molding around here when we flip it over. And we're going to need some uh, places to nail the molding to. So I'm going to show you, this is just a 2 by 3 that I'm going to put here and one over here. Now over here, it's going to be a little bit different. We need to put a piece right here and right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a piece right underneath here and I'm going to mark it. And then I'll cut it and then we'll, then we'll put that piece right on here. So I'm going to mark it and then I'm going to cut it and then we'll put it right here. So. See where we marked it. Now we're going to get the saw out. And I'm going to I'm going to use a, a jigsaw and a steel saw to kind of make it a little faster. Okay. Now we've got the piece cut here, and then we're going to have to cut three more so we can take this piece. Flip it over, mark another two by six. Remember that depending on your design is how you're going to make your uh, trim pieces, your reinforcing pieces here. Because this design is going to take this particular. And remember this design is all laid out by me. It's not a pattern or anything that you have to follow. You can kind of do your own thing and get it the way you uh, the look that you like. So, anyway, let's see here. I just have to have all these other pieces already cut. Anyway, so there we go. We got all the pieces. Now, lay them out here. Okay, we've got it all laid out. Now what we're going to do is we're going to glue it and screw it on. We're going to take this. Let me dust that off a little bit. Okay, so we're putting the glue around here. Put this on there. We're going to glue it on there. I've screwed all these. I've glued them all. I've screwed them all from underneath. This is the side that we're going to be looking at from down, we're building this from the, the ground up. So you got to remember that what we're really looking at is from down underneath here, not up here. So we're building it kind of, instead of, if we had it up here, we would build it from the top down, but we're building from the bottom up. 
So now this cone is going to go right here and trim out in right around here. And of course we've got to bend this around this straight here. And then I'm not sure this is MDF. I'm going to attempt to steam this to put it in this curve where we can bend it in there and put it in there. If it doesn't work, we've got another option. So uh, if it does work, you'll see it. If it doesn't, we're going to do something different. Okay, now we're ready to build the next uh, level of our, of our tray. So we have our first tray that we've already put our design in. And all the design work is going to be done underneath once we flip it over. So now we're going to build the next tray and uh, we're going to go ahead and get those pieces ready and then we'll be right back and we'll screw them all together. That was my wife that just came by. She's fixing a Chinese dinner. She's not Chinese. She's uh, from, uh, originally she's a Latin American, but we taught her how to do Chinese, so she's pretty good at it. She'll make a pretty good chow mein, fried rice, and some egg rolls. Okay, so anyway, here we go. We're going to glue this on. And then we're going to screw it also. So. If you don't have one of these custom brooms, order one at uh, right here online at our website. <laughs> okay, that was the first part of the tray ceiling when I first got started. So watch for the second part. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and uh, have a blessed day.